Hello Taurus, this is your singles reading for January 2018. Hello, I hope you're doing amazing. Um, ooh. I was going to say I had very good energy with you, um, for you. I felt it, just good energy. I don't know what else to say about your singles life. But you have very soon and playfulness come out. Okay, so I feel like right now you're in a flirty type of relationship. Okay, very flirty. Um, you're finding out what love is like, or what it used to be like, or what it should be like. Like that, that emotional part of you is triggered. You're very happy, and you're trying to figure out what this means for you. What is love for you? Is this something big? Is it? Is this something to look forward to? That's what I feel for you, which is beautiful. Hmm. I just feel like you found someone that you like. You like to be around them. You have that childish energy. Really happy feeling. Feels great. And I feel like that's a good change for you, you know, and what's been going on with you. Dealing with breakups and people coming in and out. Let's see. On the bottom of the deck, you have the strength, okay? This is about you having confidence in what you feel. It's very interesting because I feel like you're a very strong person, Taurus. That's what I'm getting. You're extremely strong. Um, you know what you want. You have goals and aspirations. Um, but you're exploring a different part of you right now. Or you will be. When it comes to how you come together with someone. The type of love that you thought was a possible maybe hmm okay in the past you have the six of swords you're you're moving away from some hard stuff like I was talking about before okay you are becoming a stronger person and moving away from things taking ideas with you I feel as though you tried to take that person with you before and, it, and you realize that you were just holding on to things because you didn't want to let them go. That's that earth energy, okay? You didn't want to let it go. You just wanted to hold on and see if it would work. You tried to balance the situation out. And then it just seems like you tried to make it through. And it just seems like you just weren't compatible, I'm not saying that you walked away, but it just feels like there wasn't enough compatibility there. So right now, you have your walls up. You've been damaged. Things have happened to you in the past. But you know you feel something right now. You know that something is coming if it hasn't come in yet. Or if it has, you're feeling something very interesting. Hmm, like what is this feeling? Who is this person? Why do I like them so? <laughs> that that is the 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 feeling that I get there. It may be in the way they communicate with you. Maybe in the way they express themselves. This may be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I feel like they are on the move for you. There's something about this person. And they are adamant to get you to move. They are determined. You are in their viewpoint. You are their vision. And it's like they're trying to get you. They try to get you to look at things differently. They're changing you in a more intellectual way. Um, because I feel like you're a solid rock. And they're like cracking you open just a little bit and the light's coming out. That's what I see. 
You have the temperance here in reverse. Now what I'm feeling is like a back and forth energy. Like you don't know whether to give it time and effort or not. And I think it, I feel like it has something to do with their airy energy. You know, their come and go, their type of fly by the seat type of energy. Yep, that's what it is. Okay. You feel like it's like they come in, come out, but not in a negative way. Just that's just who they are. They like freedom, they like space. But that to you are traits that are untrustworthy because you like stability, you like consistency. Um, they just seem very fly by the seat, beautiful, knight of cupsy, bringing love in, fairy <laughs> light energy, you know, like a bohemian type. Not necessarily in dress, but in attitude. And you may also be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Sagittarius I see here as well, along with that air sign. Now, you have had thoughts about the way you think relationships should go. And this is a relationship or a situation that is trying to teach you how to let that go. Trying to teach you how to go with the flow of things. To be more light. The problem is, you have to work on letting that go. Okay? That's, that's what you need to do is work on letting that go. What am I getting from this? Do I want to hold on to it? What about all the things that I thought about in the past about the way things should go? What about all of those rules and regulations I put together for myself? That's what you're doing. That's what you're dealing with. So in order to be in this situation, you have to you have to let that go. You have to let those ideas go and change. Yep. Okay. So all that energy um, that you were using to hold on to those old things. Okay. That kept you feeling abandoned or people walking out on you not feeling stable. This is a way to change that. This is a way to change these things about yourself. So it's a way for you to heal, for you to go with the flow of what spirit wants for you. Sometimes what we want for ourselves are, is different than what spirit has in mind for us. Okay? You have to keep that in mind. I feel like some of you are like, duh. But some people don't know that. Okay? <laughs> so you have the Ace of Swords. Clarity. Clarity is coming in to you. It's like, I know this makes sense that I would need to clear out some energy. And I'm also feeling like you felt like there was some energy you needed to clear out. You just didn't know how or what to do. So in the meantime, it's like, I'll continue to do what I'm doing until I figure out what's supposed to happen. And this is it. This is that clarity that you were looking for. This is that clarity that you were trying to find. Because what it's going to do is try to rebirth you. You know, um, you're going to be reborn as a new person with new ideas. Because those dreams that you were holding on to just weren't working for you. And you don't have to change 100% overnight. You can just try, try it and see if it, if it works for you. Okay, so you don't have to jump into it and just be unhappy forever. You can just, you know, dip your foot in to see if it works. Because this person does have that airy energy. So, you know, it doesn't feel like they're going to take it very hard, you know, if it doesn't work out. Sorry, I had something in my teeth. 
if it doesn't work out okay so in your environment you have the eight of cups in reverse this could be someone else trying to walk into your back into your life I feel like this is this person coming back into your life. There may be a brief moment where they step back for a minute. Like I said, they had that flowy energy. Okay. And I feel like you don't see long term here. And that's the reason why you're fighting against it so bad. Okay. Um, you want to be in a situation that has some guarantee or feels like it has some guarantee. And this doesn't because of that energy that they have. You feel like they're childish, but you also get nurture from them. Like you feel like there's something that can grow here. There's something about this person that you're attracted to that you want to be around, but you don't want to be in a cycle. You don't want to keep doing this over and over again. What's the point? You know, and that's, that's where you are, but that's who they are. They have their own things that they need to learn about life and about love. Because I feel like they may be younger or have this younger energy in love. Like they've never been in a relationship that has been very strong. Not the kind of relationship that you are that you are able to offer them. So the first and the 15th, you have the three of cups in reverse. Okay. Um, and this feels like you're not really sociable, socially compatible. That's what I feel here. Like, uh, they're not following through on plans. They're not following through on plans, but you still communicate, you still talk. There's some level of them still sticking around, okay? But they're, they're not always there the way they should be, okay? Um, I think you, you feel like you're being manipulated. Um, but the thing is, you, it's about you working on not being or focusing directly on a person, okay? It talks about give and take. So you have to do give and take on your own life, okay? So focus on work and not so much on this relationship. Now, I want to say that I'm an earth sign and sometimes I have problems with that, okay? That's something that I've been working on forever, okay um when i meet somebody and i really like them i i tend to get focused on that person okay um and it's not really bad because you feel like this is the way that we make a relationship this is the way we build but not every sign works that way especially air signs and water signs okay so like i said this person has a very airy energy to me so this person is, you know, focusing on their own stuff. They may be focusing on work, okay? That takes three days. Then they're focusing on their emotions. That takes another three days. But to you, all you see is that they haven't talked to you in six days. You know what I mean? Okay? Uh, and then they come back in like nothing is the matter. And that's because nothing is the matter between you and them. They just had to deal with some things on their end and then come back to you. And I feel like that's what this person is doing. But you feel that this is like a manipulative energy, okay? And it's re it's triggering fears in you to think that someone's cheating or something is, ha is happening behind your back. But really, there isn't. You know, there's enough give and take. There, it's 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 doing what it's supposed to do, okay? That's that's what I'm gonna say. Now, from the 15th to the end of the month, you have the Hierophant in reverse, okay? And I feel like this is when you're starting to realize that things are moving forward, but it's just going against the grain, you know? It's just not the what you're used to. It, it's not the same, okay? There it is. You're building foundations. Things are af actually happening. It's just not happening steadily or at the pace that you're used to, okay? And... You're changing your direction and your pull to want them all to yourself and to have things happen the way that you want them to. 
there is there are there is a new beginning there is some enlightenment and there's something you feel when this person is around you okay you just need to let that go the responsibility of needing to push and needing everything to happen when it does need to happen you need to let that go okay in your environment oh not in your environment i'm losing my mind as a conclusion <laughs> you have the eight of swords in reverse and the high priestess so by the end of the month, you are confronting your own thoughts, the way that you were handling things with this person, okay? And you're starting to let that go. Because here with the High Priestess, you know what's happening. Things are flowing. Things are happening the way that they should be happening. But there's some thoughts that you need to let go. And that's that those old thoughts. You need to confront them and realize what they mean for you and what they mean for your relationship, okay? And like I said, your overall energy was strength. And that talks about you taming your own demons, taming your own lion, you know, and, and seeing things for what it is. You know, we all communicate love in a different way. There it is, the truth. The truth is that you can't change this person. You can't change this person. And it, it doesn't seem like it's very... effective to try to change them it's your worry of not about not getting this per all this person's attention you're worried that they're doing something else or that you're not the focus there may also be a fire sign that comes running back into your life and I roll my eyes like that because it's going to be a brief thing it's just like here we go again thanks you know <laughs> that's what it'll be like so that is your reading and I will be doing the extended reading of this and I am going to focus on what that fire sign wants from you again and um, air and water oh actually I'm just gonna do this new person this fire sign and advice for you for this month okay so if you would like a private reading that link is in the description box below also if you want to become a member and get the extended reading that link is also in the description box below if not I will see you next month I love you very much love and light